Hello, you lovely people of the internet. How are you all doing? Welcome back to Frankie's Collectibles. Uh, you're doing really good. So this week, we're actually going to be playing some po Pokemon TCG online. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So hopefully, we can have a little bit of a, a look at the game and how it plays. And we're also going to talk a little bit about Pokemon itself and the hobby that it is to some people. Um, not all doom and gloom, but there's going to be some negativity, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so as you can see, we're jumping straight in. I'm actually using my Psychic deck, which I'm also ridiculously happy with. Um, it's not quite to perfection, but it is a really good deck nevertheless. Um, this tactic here, it would be really straightforward for me to put something out, i.e. bigger than EV, an EVV card right there. But I'm, what I'm doing is I'm using my Noggin and I'm looking at when's best to play the cards. Obviously, I've got a trainer card sat right there where I can put any active Pokemon back on its bench and bring out one of my bench Pokemon. So that's always good to have. Um, so I'm going to be using that to my advantage and that's what I'm going to do while I start this game. Anyway, so Pokemon, what does Pokemon mean to you? Um, for me, it's a massive part of my, my being. It's a massive part of my life. Um, I found Pokemon in my... I think I was about 12, 11, 12. I might have even been nearly 13. And Pokemon very first came into my life through the Game Boy games. And I had both Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. And I absolutely fell in love with Squirtle. That's where my story begins with Squirtle. Which is kind of ironic. Because when I started playing Pokemon Go many, many, many years later. I was actually on a walk visiting my mother. Um, so I basically visit in the house that I lived when I was a child, um, where I very first met Squirtle on um, Pokemon Blue back in the day. And lo and behold, I couldn't find a Squirtle anywhere on my walks for weeks, literally weeks. And then I went down to my mother's and Squirtle was literally, I'm not even exaggerating, he was just stood there on my doorstep like he'd been waiting for me all that time. I know it's a game. But it was just a nice little thought I had in my head. So yeah, Squirtle for me is where it all began. Um, I've always been into aquatic animals. And Squirtle seemed to be the perfect fit. And I've never really looked back. I've always enjoyed the games. Always collected the cards. And always really enjoyed making the very most of the hobby that I know and love. Now unfortunately, we're in a really weird place at the moment. Where scalpers and... Um, people look at Pokemon in a different light, more so the Pokemon cards themselves. Now, I've always collected Pokemon cards, maybe not as fierce as I once did as a child. Um, I have kind of picked back up again and started collecting again in my later life. Having three children gives me the perfect platform to do that and a little bit of an excuse to do it as well. Not that I need very much of an excuse anyway. So yeah, so I've always enjoyed Pokemon, um, but now we're in a position now where unfortunately people are looking at it as a profit. An easy way to grab a rare card or a super rare card, hold on to it, get it get it graded, and then sell it on for a mega profit. Now, unfortunately, that kind of puts the little man, the little people in this hobby, i.e. the players, um, in a really stinky position where we can't um, keep up with the demand. It's becoming impossible to find the right sort of cards. For example, uh, Pokemon 25-year cards have just recently hit mcdonald's here in the uk and already they've been out for two days here and already we're seeing crazy crazy amounts being sold to scalpers that are looking to grade them and sell them and they justify that saying you could buy them too it's not just me you could buy them too why don't you buy them and i can't help but think why can't we leave the cards where they're meant to be inside children's meals on the hope and understanding that a child might pick up the first pack of Pokemon cards and might become a future player of the game. It's a very sad state of times. I think to myself, had the games have been really hard to get hold of as a kid, I probably wouldn't be enjoying Pokemon like I do today. Um, and I'd just like to think maybe that one pack of cards inside someone's Happy Meal alongside their chicken nuggets and a, a fruit shoot might just be that little spark to really start that ign ignition inside a child's mind to become the next generation of Pokemon players. Um, it's not all about profit, or at least it doesn't have to be, or it shouldn't be. But the truth be told, eventually we're going to hit a stoop. We're going to hit a dropping point where Pokemon isn't quite as popular. And if I'm perfectly honest, I'm quite ready for that. Because then hopefully the players who have been there for years can start enjoying the hobby a bit more again. Because unfortunately we're on a bit of a sticky, a sticky pop right now where obviously availability is becoming 
outrageous and profit and money and price tags are absolutely insane people are buying things on to sell them on for a bigger more intense profit it really is sad it really is a sad state of the times but that doesn't have to be uh, things will calm down so do hang in there this is why i've been playing a lot more tcg online as of late and i'll take that win thank you very much um but just hang in there um there is a light at the end of the tunnel uh, but do let me know what you guys think what do you guys think of the hobby what do you think of the state of the hobby right now uh, do you see a, a slowing down period coming anytime soon i would be very interested in hearing what you guys have got to say but it isn't all doom and gloom pokemon is a wonderful franchise and thankfully we've got a really good fan base the real fans know who they are and the real fans really enjoy the cards for what they are to be collected not for a profit anyway I'll leave it there. I just thought I'd do a quick video, play a quick game with you all, um, and hopefully get a little bit of interaction going in the comments. But do let me know your thoughts. I'm very much looking forward to reading them. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to punch that like button. Also, tickle the subscribe button and dingling that bell. <laughs> and until next time, toodly-doo.